Good morning, everybody. We're not getting off the ship. I know some of you may be surprised by that. We are going to stay in the food and the lay suite as much as we can. But we do need to grab something to eat. Right. So I think we're going to go do that. So where are we going to the lounge? Or we can uh, have breakfast delivered here. What would you like to do? You said you had a good breakfast sandwich yesterday, right? Yeah, I did. So I wouldn't mind trying that. It was delicious. It was small, but it was delicious. Do you guys understand the equation going on right now? Take a look. Isn't that dope? My uh, Adidas. Looking fashionable, Ray. Thank you. This is our view this morning. On the left, you see Castaway Key. If we pan over to the right, we see a little bit more of Castaway Key and the ocean. Oh, from this elevator, you can access floors 10, 12, and 14. I would be taking the elevator every single time. Good morning, sir. How are you? All right, we have. Okay. There's another fruit that I haven't had before, Ray. I don't think I've ever seen breakfast cereal here before. Rice Krispies, Frosted Flakes, Special K, Raisin Bran, Corn Pops, Granola. So we have pastries and assorted yes, danishes right. over here. They look amazing. Smoothies, muesli, parfaits. You guys know how I love parfaits. There's charcuterie and cheese over here. Ray just brought it to my attention that these are figs. I actually may have to eat some figs. Ray's gonna grab some fruit and pastries and we're gonna order from the hot menu. Yummy. Right now, Ray and I are sitting on the upper level of the concierge lounge and uh, very, very peaceful. It's very warm. So we may be changing locations. It's beautiful up here. This Nutella pastry. Mm -hmm. Have you had it? Mm -mm, yeah. It's delicious. Miss Larissa brought our food to us and wow. She ordered me a breakfast sandwich. Let's see what's on this sandwich. It has Gouda cheese, smoked Gouda, tomatoes, and, and a fried egg. There's no better way to start off a day than with Mickey waffles. So we got Mickey waffles. We have syrup and whipped cream and strawberries. Ray has her steel cut oats because she's trying to stay regular. And she also has a sandwich, but her sandwich has bacon on it. Ooh, Ray, that looks delicious. Mm -hmm. They usually only give you two of these, but... Oh, I asked for double. Ray asked for double, so <laughs> here we are. Boom, boom. Mm. Now I can eat these every morning. This is how I like my eggs to kind of like dried up where it's not runny. Last but not least, I got some avocado toast with strawberries on there and what is that, right? Like a side salad? Yeah. It looks so good. It looks like it's on some multi-grain bread. Is that feta cheese too? Yeah, I think that's feta. We're about to head back to the room, but I wanted to show you this before we went up there. Outside on this deck, there's a fridge stocked with sodas, waters, juices. So that's kind of convenient to have right here. Oh, wow. Looking at Castaway Key, I kind of want to go out to Castaway Key, but I'm not. But it is beautiful. Ray probably took the stairs, but you guys know me. You know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> Let's do it. We're on the 12th floor right now. The elevator's on the 10th floor, it looks like. So we're headed up to 14. My Magic Van Plus is working just fine. Ray's over here conducting business. We're able to book the treasure today. Our room is about to be clean, so we are about to hightail it out of here. I'm trying to look to see some things to do. Uh, Haunted Mansion is playing at the Neverland Cinema. I guess we can get lunch somewhere, which it seems like we're always doing. What else is going on? Uh, Castaway Key, Castaway Key. What's going on on the ship? That's what I want to know. We can learn to draw Nick Wilde. That's going on at 1 o'clock. Uh, the Princess and the Frog is showing on the Funnel Vision at 1.15. Black Panther at 2 o'clock. Midship at 2 o'clock. We're either going to Marceline Market, the Concierge Lounge, or wherever the sit-down area is. Ooh, what is that? Blueberry? Yeah, blueberry and uh, mango. Can you give me blueberry, please? I've never had blueberry. I've heard they have blueberry before. I've never been able to see it. Here we are. It's Coronation Day. I thought it was a dream. Oh, wow, but look at that. Wow, it's the color of figments. Never mind. So this is really blueberry. Oh, it is blueberry. I will go off on a limb and say this. I think I like the blueberry better than all of it. Even over the chocolate. Chocolate's my favorite. Wow, that was good. Whoever told me blueberry ice cream was the best. Those are facts. There's no cap. It's all truth. Ray also just said that the blueberry was her favorite as well. Yeah, this kind of beats out my banana. Right? I'm a huge chocolate lover. Right. This is really good. It is. It is. Decisions, decisions. Real strip loin steak. Or lemon pilaf rice. Or lamb chop. Look how nice and juicy that chicken looks. Yeah. Amazing. Sweet potato with roasted butternut squash. Carrots, that's the ray back there. Baked feta cheese stuff, zucchini. And what's in the back? Grilled turkey, that's grilled turkey back there. And right here we have a charcuterie board. Filled with meats, cheeses, olives, and all kinds of charcuterie stuff. 
Here we have a nice selection of breads. Ooh, it's getting better and better. Chicken tiki masala. I've had this here before. Delicious. Even more, ooh, plant-based chicken red Thai curry. Mmm. Got pot stickers in the front. From the kids' counter, we have kids' favorites, chicken tenders and fries. You know how kids love the chicken tenders and fries. They also love the peas, macaroni and cheese, and meatloaf. Not necessarily my children, but I imagine there's some kids that love this. We have fruit and vegetables. I don't know if you guys know this. The kids are very, very fond of cream and butternut squash soup. Here's our dessert selection. Mmm. Mm. One of my favorites down here is the carrot cake. Right there. We have jello. We have pecan pie cheesecake. We also have chocolate mousse, which Ray loves. And it still has a 25th Disney Cruise Line anniversary chocolate piece on it. How's your food, Ray? Man, it's so delicious. This chicken masala is delicious. Oh my gosh, so good. I got a little bit of um, cilantro to put on it and some chopped onions. I just walked in here. This is an in-room celebration for Trey. Uh, they put it in the wrong room, but, but it's all good. Oh, this is beautiful. He's gonna be so surprised. And look, the towel animal looks like a birthday cake. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Teamwork, baby, because they're in the lounge. You have Mickey and Minnie in their sailor costumes. You have a cake in the middle. It's my day, it says. And so this is a celebration for Trey's birthday, which isn't until the 24th. But anytime there's a reason for Ray to celebrate somebody's birthday, she's gonna do it. Ooh, we got the ship. We have Donald, Mickey, Goofy, Pluto, Minnie, and Daisy. Who's that, an aardvark? Ray, I've never had a tower animal aardvark before. Ray also does in-house celebrations. Happy birthday! Ray, you did a great job. You made it look just like they did. Told you I already know how to fold towels. That and balloons. That's exactly what they just had in our room. Mm -hmm. So this is supposed to be our towel animal. <laughs> oh, so we get the aardvark? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So the aardvark belongs right here. <laughs> What's that a ram? That might not even be an aardvark. He's getting a good tip. Why? He keeps replenishing my sponges. Hmm. I'm leaving here with some. I think you can have it. I'm leaving here with some. Uh, this for me, bro. What? Not that special. Happy 18th birthday, son! Woo woo! Woo woo! We're gonna the, be 18. Was the champagne on the door or on the on the TV? You stand? got a bottle of cloud. It's in the refrigerator, chilling. That's nice. Thank you. all Isn't Indeed. it cute? That is kind of cool. Ah! Oh, I broke it. Oh, all right. Took it. Do I get like a, a crown for the toilet? I'm leaving now. A crown uh. for the toilet? All right, so Brooklyn has an appointment at Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique on deck four on the Disney Wish. So we are headed over there right now. Deck 12, doors opening. You getting made up like a pirate, bro? Yes. I did that when I was seven. Hey, Good side. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is playing at the Wonderland Cinema. <laughs> Molly Deck uh, Goose? All right. Oh, mommy's getting something done too? Yeah. Okay. These are our new pirate faces that you get pictures from. Okay. You can either be a zombie pirate, which is half alive, half cursed. You can have two smoky eyes and lots of beard. You can get some makeup with an anchor tattoo. Or you can get a black eye, a scar, and a beard. I don't know if I want a beard. That would be kind of funny. She's getting the ship shape. Or the pretty pirate to keep Oh, uh, you don't want to do a zombie pirate? You do one half, I do one half. We put our face together and make a hole. You got a decision to make because there's two different ways that we can do your eyes. So, we can either do know, blue and purple there at the top like a mermaid tail. Or the orange and red like a sunset. What do you think? Orange and red. <laughs> and now we're going to add just a little bit of sunshine to the cheeks as well. Make it like you've been out on the deck all day looking at the water, right? Let's just spread it around. Now at first, I'm gonna just color on your eyes. And this might feel like, what are you doing? That is not where that's supposed to go. Because all I'm doing is just filling it in. And then a great big pop. Perfect. All right. Oh my goodness. Now, of course, we have to give you a pirate sword as well, but I can't just give it to you. I gotta make sure I can trust you. So let's spin around and face your captains, and then that way we can see this very important business. I want you to put one hand in the air and repeat after me, I, Jane Ropewalker. 
Pledge to be a true and honest pirate. One that can be trusted, never to be trusted. To run from fights, I cannot win, but win any fight, I can't run from. To plunder treasure with a hearty laugh, ha ha ha. That's your heartiest laugh. You can't do a heartier laugh, ha ha ha. Come on, your laugh is heartier at home. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. A hearty chuckle. I'll take it. To swab the Disney wish deck with a hearty hand and to sing yo ho yo ho with a hearty heart over and over and over again. And to discourage the spurious for use of parlay in situation conflict when those who wish to invoke it are trying to save their own skins anyway, causing pain and suffering to Captain Death and the treasure for the entire crew, and an abuse of the use of parlay, which is defined by the code, which are more than what you call guidelines and actual rules anyway. Can you say all that? No. Why not? Now, if Captain Jack comes up to you and says, Did you say your oath? You say, Yep, I said all that. And technically, you're not lying because you did. You are officially a member of the Pirates League, and I am pleased to give you your very first practice sword. Now, I can't trust you with the real deal just yet. We got to make sure we can trust you and see how you do. So, come back in a couple years and we'll talk. Now, this here is your Pirates Oath. It is everything that we agreed to here. And on the back, it is perfectly blank, so you can make your very own treasure map. Come back and show it to me. I'll promise I won't tell anyone, but we'll just proofread it together, okay? And now we're going to introduce you to the crew, so can you give me a loud yo-ho? Yo-ho. Really? Yo-ho. Okay, okay. We'll work on it. Yo-ho, I have a new pirate! Yo-ho! You are ship shape and ready to sail, so that means you can jump ship. <laughs> there you go. And you are all set. <laughs> Alright, little loose goose and what's your name? <laughs> Marcy Darcy something, I don't remember. Alright, yes, Pirates. Alright, ahoy. <laughs> Limpy loose goose and what's what's your name, bro? Jane Tightrope Walker. Yeah. They just got their uh Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique Pirate Makeover. And they look wonderful. Hey Daisy! I don't care if you just ate lunch, dinner, whatever. As soon as you pass the food on this floor, you want something else to eat. Hey, Brandy, your favorite's playing. There's nobody out here watching it. Ray was going to get her hair braided. We were sitting around waiting on the young lady who we saw braiding hair. However, she does not braid hair today. So she will be here tomorrow. So I don't know if Ray's still going to continue to get her hair braided. But today, there will be no hair braiding. Ray, I can braid your hair. I bought the blue magic too. Rachel Hack, follow me. Well, I just gave him a cup from the self-serve soda machine for some ice cream. Thank you. Enjoy your ice cream. We are leaving Castaway Key. Bye, Castaway Key, even though we didn't visit you this time. Ooh, you hear the horns? The horns are going off, right? That's kind of cool. This Star Wars? So once again, this has become the foodie video. <laughs> we just ordered food from uh, the Concierge Lounge. I did not know that All-American Cheeseburger was gonna be that big. It is huge. We got gnocchi. We have banh mi, Mickey-shaped cookies. And Ray got a spaghetti taco, which looks very, very interesting. <laughs> this is how we do in the food in the suite. I'm sure this is gonna taste better than normal concierge food. The Funale Suite, I'm just letting y'all know, I had Funale Suite-itis today. It hit a little bit different than regular concierge-itis. Funale Suite-itis rocks you to sleep right away. You know what I'm saying, Ray? I do. Do you have Funale Suite-itis? I did earlier, I took a nap. Do we have an agreement? Agreed. Then I say, let the captain's challenge officially be All right, so there are pirate activities going on right now. Uh, we're not participating because, again, we're enjoying our room. But, oh, we did just get a visitor from the concierge team. I think we got some more collateral. We're enjoying this room. I've just been relaxing today, like I told you. The food in the suite, I'm not leaving. I'm in the living room just chilling, watching Civil War, enjoying the last couple of days of this room. Tomorrow, we're going to get Paulo delivered to the room, which is going to be exciting. Yes, we're gonna have Palo Brunch delivered to the room tomorrow at 10.30.
which is perfect timing just to have a nice good brunch. It has been so relaxing just to have food delivered every night, the table set and it's just quiet and we're able just right. to conversate and have a good time. This has been something on my bucket list that I can actually check off. So relaxing. I will say this is probably one of my best vacations ever. Yes, agreed. What I realized earlier too was the pirate show was going on and I couldn't hear anything in this room, like at all. I couldn't hear like a, like it, like even a little boom, boom, heard nothing. So that's kind of cool that it's soundproof to that degree. Right. Because I didn't hear a thing. I was always wondering that too. I was like, I wonder if they hear the show or what if they hear the movies. Right. You can't hear anything. I'm so sad we have to leave day after tomorrow. So tomorrow we're really gonna take advantage and just be in here chilling. That's it. Like for real. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Brunch and just chilling. Right. The entire time. We have our food. Ooh, Jack's Treasures. That's pasta. This is what I usually get on Pirates Night. This is for Trey, I think. Steak and fries, or very well could be for Brooklyn. They bought me some Parmesan for my pasta. This, ooh, yummy. I think this is rum cake. Ooh, crab cake. Is that yours, Ray? Did you get crab cake, though? Of course, the rolls. Ray and Brooklyn only like one kind, and that's the kind they got right here. We're so spoiled. Right. And then last but not least, I think this is going to be steak and fries, and it is. And I would eat this right now, bro, because it is piping hot. We're about to eat. We got some people outside here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest, <laughs> Forrest June, y'all. Forrest June. I'm not leaving my room. However, I want to see if I can see the fireworks from here. So let's take a look and see if we can see the fireworks tonight. I just heard a large boom like a cannon. And But I don't see anything. I see lights flashing. See? Nothing going off. Looks like they're shooting from right right here. Can you see them? So they're shooting from right here. And you can see them kind of sort of right here. You see them? Right? This is actually good enough for me. The music's not being piped in our room, but you can hear the music from here. They're playing Captain Jack Sparrow music. So if you wanted to know if you could see the fireworks from the Funale room, you kind of can. You don't have a perfect view. But it's good enough for me. Good morning, everybody. Today is a sad day because it is our last day in the Funale suite. It is also a joyous occasion because this morning we get Paolo delivered to our room. This is one of the perks of staying in the Funale suite or any of the five suites. Our brunch is going to be delivered at 1045. So we're waiting on that. We're very excited because Paolo brunch is one of our favorite things to do on the Disney Cruise Lines. So Rachel's still here in her robe. <laughs> That's another advantage of being able to order food in your room. You can dress how you want. That's I don't right. have to get all dressed up. Paolo has a dress code. But when you're in the Funale suite, there's no dress code. You could eat in your boxes if you want to. You can come down here naked and enjoy Paolo. <laughs> you can if you want to. Everybody that's assigned to this room can enjoy Paolo as well, even though they're not 18. Yes, because that's one thing I asked last night when I was just ordering like two uh, chicken parmesans, one pizza. They said, that's it? I'm like, well, the kids are under 18. And they said, that's okay, they're in your room with you. You can order whatever you want on this menu. Right, so. I was like, what? So let me get four chicken palms, two pizzas with the grapes. Did you get the antipasta for me? I'm sure you did. I did. Did you get the lasagna bolognese? Yes. Did you get? Two steaks. <laughs> Cause I wanted, I've never tried steak at Paula. I think I had it once. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, you're gonna have it again because I got two steaks. Yeah, I'm mad at that. Again, we're looking forward to that. We're not really gonna be walking around doing a lot of activities like I mentioned. Again, because this is our last day in this room and I wanna get my fill. Every room in this suite, I'll be spending a little quality time with. <laughs> Every one. <laughs> Food in the lay, baby. What's up, right Trey? Hey, Trey and mommy are doing robe things. Not Brooklyn so much, but Brooklyn, you have on nice pajamas. <laughs> I'm so tired. You guys excited about Paula this morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hungry. I think they must have been up partying because every time I come down here in the morning, I'm like, who ordered room service? These kids are ordering room service it's at true. 2, 3 o'clock. I'm, I'm sure that's oh, true. I actually ain't on room service last night. Well, where all this food come from? Brooklyn had room service. Oh, you guys had like wings and stuff? I also want to thank God for blessing us with this opportunity too. So, you know, without him, none of this happens, right? So right. this is something that I never thought we could do. There were some videos that we saw where people were able to access the slide from the from the library, that room over there. You're not supposed to do that. We asked because we wanted to wake up and jump on the slide, then come back in the room and go back to bed. When you open up the door, it beeps kind of like an alarm, but there's a sign on there that says for cast members only. We did ask first just right. to make sure. Right. And they said, no, you're not supposed to do that. So we're waiting on Apollo to come. 1045 is the time it's supposed to be here. Apollo brunch, 
my absolute favorite meal to have on the Disney cruise ships. And the best thing of it all is, now my kids get to enjoy it as well. They get to see what we've been talking about. Right, and it's still free. And, right, you know, you heard that? It's free. You know why it's free? <laughs> we're platinum members in the Food and the Lay Suite and Apollo is complimentary because we're platinum members. So if you don't know, if you're a platinum Castaway Club member, Apollo Brunch is complimentary. Right. Right now the table's being made. We got placemats down. The plates will be here shortly. The silverware, the cups, whatever they need to do to make this look top notch, that's what they do here. The concierge team is wonderful. Hey, this is lovely. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome, sir. So our food has arrived. And look how beautiful it looks. We have the chicken parmesan, which we absolutely have to get that every single time. Trey, you, you like tuna, Trey? So this will be mine. We have steak and green beans, and I believe that's potatoes. We have another one of our favorites, the pizza with grapes. Is that grapes? Okay. Looks like olives, babe. Thinking maybe you were switching it up. We have a Mickey waffle with apple chunks. We have some bread service going on right here. What am I missing? Ray ordered the celery soup. Are you ready? Woo, I'm ready. Are you ready? What are you trying first, babe? Um, it's so much, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Trey, what are you starting off with? Chicken you starting off with the chicken parmesan? Mm -hmm. You starting off with the creme de la creme? Let's see. What are you thinking, Trey? Oh my goodness. Already? I mean, it didn't, it didn't even dissolve on barely, your tongue yet. I barely touched my tongue. I think I ordered two of these. I did just steal a piece of Brooklyn steak, and that steak has really nice flavor to it. Oh, this is the best thing on the menu. Brooklyn likes the chicken parmesan, but she likes the steak better. Trey likes, it's almost gone. These are grapes? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's not nasty, I'm telling you. What? Grapes. Oh. Oh, that's good. This is still better. That's chicken parmesan. Oh, yeah. Chicken parmesan is everything. The grapes that they used this time, are a little different from, from last weekend. I had these grapes over in a grape basket that they sent us. These grapes are way sweeter. I actually prefer these grapes than I do the other grapes. Apollo, in our room, we're able to enjoy it in comfort. So I'm about to put this camera down because I don't like cold food like I mentioned before. So this is what we got. We're gonna enjoy. Ray is holding it down, the last chicken parmesan. I think this is her third. <laughs> don't order so much because your food's gonna get cold. You have to kind of hurry and eat really fast if you still want it to be hot. It's gonna be almost impossible to try to serve this much food and make sure that everything stays hot throughout um, because it's a lot of food. If you get a chance to get into Palo and have a Palo brunch, do it. To me, it's the best food on this ship. Right now, I'm waiting on dessert. I got the lava cake and the warm sticky bun, and so we're waiting on that to come through. Our desserts have arrived, and we have the warm sticky bun right here, which is one of my absolute favorites. It's probably my second favorite. This right here is my favorite, and I know it's melted a little bit, but this is the lava cake, my absolute favorite. Serve with espresso ice cream, yum yum. Uh, Ray, uh, Ray ordered this. I'm not really sure what that is, but she gets it all the time and it looks good. Ray also ordered a pina cotta with the butterfly decoration on top. That looks good too. This is a slice of lemon cake. Yes. It all looks so good. And last but not least, we got this. It tastes different from the one in the restaurant. Yeah. But better though. The one in the restaurant is okay. What? This one, delicious. Trey is going through lava cake withdrawals because on the last cruise, Trey ordered 10. <laughs> and so now I think he may not be as fond of lava cake as he used to be. Tastes like cherries. You think? Mm -hmm. It is time for us to vacate the premises so that the room can get clean. He likes us because that room can eat. And, uh, <laughs> We're going to take the elevator as much as we can today because it's the last day we'll be able to take an elevator and have our own private elevator at any point. This food is hitting a little different from what I just had. Like right now I can go lay down and take a nap. <laughs> Once again, food and late sweet itis has kicked in. And unfortunately I can't take a nap right now because they're cleaning our room. So we're going to go find something to do for an hour. Or not do for an hour. We may just sit around and do nothing for an hour. Thank, Thank you, baby. It is a gorgeous day. The ship's going to have a lot of people on it today because it is a sea day. When we walked outside, do you think they put this on on purpose? Or no, it's just a coincidence? Coincidence. We have a young lady on deck and she's braiding and twisting hair. I made an appointment for Rachel at three o'clock. You need your hair braided? I never thought I'd say these words, but I'm tired of eating. <laughs> Same. 
<laughs> like I don't want to chew anymore. I'm just so done eating right now. I'm just feeling the same way. Mm. I'm like, I don't even want to look at food. Like, For real. I'm good. I'm I mean, good. I'll look at it. I just don't want to consume it. Right. Let's go to the movies, see what's playing. All right, let's I go. I think the Haunted Mansion's playing. Let's go watch the rest of the Haunted Mansion while we're yeah. waiting on our room to be clean. Yeah. The Neverland Cinema is this way. I thought I saw the Haunted Mansion playing, right? Mm -hmm. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> it is Guardians of the Galaxy at 1230. Mm -hmm. Haunted Mansion at 330. Oh, there's no more Little Mermaid? Little Mermaid at no 30. You if they play it tomorrow at all, I am watching The Little Mermaid. I was supposed to watch it on the Magic last week. It was just so, they only played it twice and it was so hard to be able to watch it. I am watching it this weekend. Brooklyn seems to think that Haunted Mansion is playing in the Wonderland Cinema. So we're headed towards the Wonderland. Oh, it is. Brooklyn, you are right. So at the Wonderland Cinema, we have the Haunted Mansion. It's playing right now. So this is what's playing at the Wonderland Cinema today. Because Ray said that my Magic Band Plus does some crazy things in the Hyperspace Lounge. It does. It's so really cool. I'm going to find out for myself because I think it's Cat. We're in the Hyperspace Lounge, so let's see if Ray is giving us some great information because they're about to jump. She says it happens when they jump. Ray says that it happens, the Magic Band start having some sort of activity once they jump into hyperspace. Woo! But hold on, hold on. I just felt the, I just felt something right Me too. I felt it vibrating. It seems like every few minutes it goes off and interacts and it just lights up. I like the little interaction that you get. So it's not only to open up your door or room charges. It's going off again. So that was pretty cool. Ray said her Magic Band Plus was going off last night during the fireworks too. Oh, it was. Right here in this atrium, didn't something significant happen not too long ago? Yes, it was a wonderful, wonderful wedding. <laughs> something happened here, I just can't recall what it was. It was the best vow renewal ever. And now we gotta bring it to you guys on the treasure. Where are we going? <laughs> we were just chilling in our room and Brooke just brought to my attention, there's another Disney cruise ship. What, what ship is that, Brooke? I think it might be the magic. Ooh. Let's go outside. Let's go, you wanna go outside and see? Yeah. Ooh, that's so cool being on a Disney ship, looking at a Disney ship. I guess that's cool. It's cool to me. What ship is that? The magic. Ah, so it is the magic. Ray's waiting to get a hair braided. And we're just sitting back. Luca's playing on the funnel vision. I love Luca. Yeah, I watch Luca. I'm not really sure why I can't get past Luca. I love I'm gonna Luca. try it one more time. Oh my god, I love Luca. It, they're adorable looking. It's just for some reason every time Luca comes on, I go to sleep. <laughs> every time. Tired. Maybe. We're on deck eleven, right next to Joyful Sweets right. from Disney Wish. And there's a little corner over here where you can get your hair braided. And that's why we're here. You can do whatever style you want. You gonna get this? Yeah, I'm saying. What? What? I did not. She does not hurt at all. I don't even know this lady's in my head. That is so weird. Is this because you're in the Funa Lay suite? Has to be. You got the champagne going on while you're getting your hair braided? I'm just saying, that's, that's special treatment. This is like luxury at its finest. Cheers, y'all. That was fast. Wake up. <laughs> yes. You like it? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Now I just gotta go curl it up. It's cute, huh? Like, it really did not hurt. So if you guys have, like, children that are tender-headed and you want, they want to get their hair braided, do it. At least this young lady did not hurt at all. Anada did not hurt at all, guys. Take it from me. So this is the room that Brooklyn's been sleeping in, right? All right, so, which is cool, right? The bunk beds kind of remind us of the beds 
at the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Check how fascinating this is. Wow, look at that. Right here you can see Maui's hook. This is a stingray. This might be an oar. This is that Moana symbol, that swirly Moana symbol. This is cool. Why can't we get this in my room? This is the last sunset that we're gonna see in the Food and Lay Suite, and it is a gorgeous one. I'm headed upstairs to our room to show you our latest, ooh, but well, hold on, squirrel. <laughs> I could never get enough of this, and so every time I pass it, I have to show it. But this is gorgeous. Moana. We have a towel animal that I must show you, like right now. Look at that towel animal. What is that, Ray, a jackrabbit? <laughs> I don't know, but he has a little booty. <laughs> Does he? It looks like a jackrabbit. The towel animals in the Food and the Lay Suite are a little bit different from any other towel animals. I'm just saying. I think Trey's room has one too. Let's go see. Okay, Trey has, Trey does have one. Um, not sure what that is either. Can you guys help me? Because I don't know, but it is nicely crafted. I can say that. So earlier I showed you guys the ceiling in Brooks room with the Moana stars, but here's how it looks at night. It's even more beautiful. Look at that. You might be able to see it a little bit better now, too. But wow. Oh, way, oh, way. Oh, way, oh, way. Tis, it is a sad day. It is our last day in the Food and Suite. I can't tell you this, it has been great. I can't tell you this. How is it that I'm out of breath going downstairs? These rooms. Are actually pretty cold right now hits the jacket i don't know if i showed you the library turned down so let's go in there now and check that out all right so this is what it looks like when they turn down the library right it's pretty cool in here so that's a queen bed right here and uh yeah this is actually pretty dope i like it it's real peaceful it's downstairs to itself it has its own bathroom so yeah i really like it today we really uh didn't do a whole lot we did a little bit, so we were just chilling in this room because it was our last day. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to maximize our time in this room. Because that's it, it's a wrap. <laughs> and you can tell that we're freezing. Right. <laughs> it is chilly right here. There's nothing more in this food and lay suite. You get the same thing in all five suites. The only difference that I saw is the rooms, right? The square footage mm -hmm. and just, you know, stuff in the room. Four and a half bathrooms. Right, the theming, right? Because this is a right. Moana theme. You have access to the concierge lounge and sun deck. Those hours of operations are from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. You have a designated concierge team that take care of you. You get daily offerings at the lounge and that ranges from light morning offerings all the way up until light evening offerings and also dessert treats. And that'll start at 7 a.m. in the morning and ends at approximately 10 o'clock p.m. Included in that is complimentary bottled water, soft drinks, milks, and juices. Uh, from 5 to 10, you get complimentary selection of beer, wine, and cocktails. You can get specialty coffee, teas, and hot chocolate from there. There's a morning beverage trolley available in the concierge lounge from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. with beverage offerings for sale. You also get early access to the Walt Disney Theater for live Broadway-style shows. 40 minutes prior to the start of the show, see your concierge team in the elevator landing on deck two forward to be escorted through an exclusive entrance to the Walt Disney Theater to choose your seats before the doors open uh, to the rest of the audience. We've used this on several occasions mm -hmm. and it's gotten us some beautiful seats. We didn't use it the last time because we went off of the time for the magic and that's different from the time on the wish. You're able to order in-suite dinner from the main restaurant locations as well as Palo. Fees mm -hmm. will apply if ordering from Palo during the opening hours of the restaurant. You get the premium internet package, mm -hmm. right? So we were able to have the internet package this entire trip, the premium package as mm -hmm. well. So that was kind of cool. That was complimentary. Mm -hmm. We're staying in one of the five royal suites. Everything was good. Like, they took really good care of us. Like, mm -hmm. the concierge team, it really did kind of, I'm not going to front. Did it seem like we got extra attention? It really did. I, 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 it could be in my mind, but th I know concierge. We've been on many concierge sailings. Right. This, I, I could be wrong, Ray, but this really felt extra. Right. Like, it felt like they felt, if I feel like they took extra care of us this time around. People were asking how we got to stay in there. Do you guys want to know how we got to stay in there? Should we tell them? Some of you have probably waited this entire video like, how y'all get to stay in there? Huh? How y'all get to stay in there? Some people that we bumped into asked, was this comped? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> when the Disney Wish put out their itinerary, um, we booked, 
right? And it was like the third sailing, if I'm not mistaken. And we booked it back to back. So what happened was, I don't know if the ship was ready or whatever, but they canceled our dates. So in return to compensate us, Disney gave us and everybody else 50% off who booked that sailing. Off a future cruise. On a future cruise. 50% off on a future cruise. And we had to use that within a year. No, uh, you had to use it in yeah, two years. You had to use it by the end of this year. Oh, and so we had to use that by the end of this year. Mm -hmm. So what Ray and I did was like, we said to ourselves, we can go get a cheap cruise for like $5,000 and get half off of that. Or we can save up some money and go big and get something that we would never get. So what we did was we did some research on this room when it had its cheapest availability. Whatever, it cheapest avail whatever the cheapest availability was for this room, we looked that up, which was, I forgot what it was, but then we said half of that. And that was enough for us to be like, you know what? That's enough for me, I can do that. And so we saved. Right. And, and we saved for both trips. We had back-to-back -back trips, so that's 50% off two sailings which we'll be doing after this one. This one, we said to ourselves, we would never we would never be able to get that at full retail. No way. 50% off, we were like, that we can do. That's doable. And, and so we did it. Right. And so here we are. For those of you who were like, well, how y'all get that? That's how we got it. So this was all of our money, this wasn't comped. We saved up right. and we were able to stay here. And, and it was a bucket list item and we were able to achieve it and we did it. And so we checked that off. I wouldn't change anything because this room and this whole experience has been awesome. Right. It was great. Right. I, it was nothing short of awesome. Right. And the kids loved it, Ray loved it, I loved it. I mean, what else could you ask for? And it was just so awesome. It was I really don't want to awesome. leave. And like, we're so I'm, sad that we have to leave. I'm tomorrow. just laying here on the couch all day. There's also concierge room service, which is different from the regular room service. Right, right? Right. And that's a, they have an all-day menu, and it's served from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And they serve stuff like ahi tuna, uh, potato gnocchi. They have an all-American cheeseburger, which is humongous. Super big. I didn't think it was going to be that big. It's humongous. They have a toasted portobello mushroom and halloumi. For the kids, they have crisp chicken tenders. They also have like assorted Mickey shaped sandwich cookies. I've been eating those cookies. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> it's been so much food where I can't eat anymore. And I don't right. think I've ever been able to say that, yo, Ray, I'm just so tired of eating. Right. I can't chew anymore. You know, it's like that. Like, you just have somebody to do like this for me. Because I can't chew. But they also have a good morning breakfast menu. Uh, you can start your day off bright with our breakfast pre order, make your breakfast selections tonight, then hang it outside on the doorknob before 3 a.m. And so here they give you uh, the times that. They can drop off your food. They have some stuff from the hot galley over here too. They have oatmeal, omelets, breakfast sandwiches, avocado toast, Mickey waffles. There's a biscuit sandwich. So they have different options. There's Good morning, everybody. Today we have to leave this beautiful room. I said I wasn't gonna cry, but. We're doing one last walk around to make sure we got everything. It was such a blessing to be able to stay here. God is good, thank you. These are our bags. They're gonna take them over to our next room. Uh, the last of the elevator. Right, last part of the elevator ride. Sad. Roll, roll. <laughs> so long, pals, and thanks for sailing with us. We hope to see you again real soon. <laughs> so long. Bye!